Hello, my name is Trent Mongero, head baseball coach of 20 plus years, former professional player, and author of Winning Baseball book and DVD instructional series. When we hit off of a tee, we want to work all three pitch locations. A good hitter can typically handle the inner third, middle, and outer third pitch. So when we're setting up to a tee, it's very important that we understand the relationship that the T should be from our body, the distance it should be from our body based on the pitch type so that we're working correctly and not incorrectly and causing problems. So the first thing that I have to do as I get into my stance, you're going to notice that I create good plate coverage. Good plate coverage for me, okay, is here. I feel like that my bat head can cover the outer third pitch or the inner third pitch based on where I stand in the batter's box. Now sometimes there's not a plate there and that's the beauty of using the cheat method to set up whether it's an insider bat, a real bat, or a telephone pole. The cheat method works this way. You have to have a basic understanding of math to understand the cheat method. If I work the knob straight off my front knee straight to the other batter's box. That is zero degrees. If I take the bat off my front knee and I go straight to the pitcher, that of course is 90 degrees. In between the two is 45 degrees. For an inner third strike, if I were to set the tee at the end of my bat, 45 degrees off my front knee from knob to end of bat, what you see here is we have an inner third strike and this is going to put me in very close to an ideal contact point on that inner third pitch. When I want to work middle, let's go back to our same angle principle. I want to go zero degrees to possibly ten degrees at the most out front to create the pitch down the middle. So ideally, it just depends on the person. If I'm in my same normal stance, I don't adjust, okay? That's 10 degrees, that's zero degrees. Let's do 10 because that's where I like to hit it. I, I know some guys that like it a little deeper. And when we're using the insider bat, we typically do work it deeper in the zone, okay? So let's put the tee at the end of my bat. And I have the plate underneath just to show you that we are indeed working a pitch right down the center of the plate. Okay, that ball should be driven right back through up the middle, past the pitcher on a line. The next pitch we work is away, and this is usually most hitters' greatest weakness. So when we set up away, we're going to slide up to the upper part of our thigh, zero degrees. If we set that bat T to the end of our bat, you notice right here that I am now working the outer third part of the plate. That is critical because if I don't understand the relationship between me and my contact point, I can be working thousands of swings incorrectly by being too far away from the tee and creating bad habits. So as we use the insider bat, the same principle applies. Okay, even though it's a shorter device, we got 45 degrees off my front knee is inner third. We got zero to 10 degrees. I'm going to bring it back zero, get it a little deeper for the insider bat. It's down the middle. What you can see, that pitch is down the middle. If I come up, top of my inner thigh, standing straight up, and that ball is outer third. And if you need to adjust it an inch or two either way, it's just going to get you close. Okay? So cheating is not cool in school, but cheating is really cool when you're talking about hitting off of a tee. Remember your cheat method.